All right, everyone, let's have some fun today. Ready on set, because we're about to go live in five, four, three, two, one. everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the full duplex wireless intercom system from Kame TV, Communicate. First of all, the name itself is one of the best I've heard across all types of products, even though the spelling might look weird, but when you say it out loud, it all makes sense. Use cases range from interior and exterior TV or film sets, live broadcast productions, sports, and other events with a range of up to 450 meters in open spaces. You can use this coupon code to get a percentage off at checkout, and of course, if you use the affiliate link in the description, then I get to earn a commission. Quick disclaimer, a while back, I did reach out to Kane TV about these headsets, and thankfully they were willing to sponsor us with a five pack kit, including some extra accessories, all free of charge. So the whole team is very grateful for that. With that said, they haven't had any influence over this video. In fact, they have insisted on us just sharing our personal thoughts and experiences with the headsets so they could then make improvements based on that. You can get the Communicate headsets in up to a two, three, four or five pack with no hub and up to a nine pack with a hub in either single ear or dual ear kits. So you can get whichever ones fit the type of work that you do and as many as you need at pretty reasonable prices. If you shoot in loud environments most of the time, then I would suggest you get the dual ear headsets as they will be better at isolating the ambient sound so you can more easily understand what your team is saying. However, in this video, we'll focus on the five pack single ear kit since that's the one we have. So for about a thousand dollars, you get a hard case, five headsets, a four battery charger, and five batteries. Although I did request that they send us an additional five batteries and an eight battery charger so we could charge everything all at once, as well as have backup batteries in case we needed them. And they just said, sure, total legends. To get started, you simply insert a battery and the headset will turn on automatically. If the battery is already inside the compartment, then a single press to the power button will turn it on. Turn on as many headsets as you're gonna use and you're pretty much ready to go. No belt packs, no additional hub, and they all come prepared from the factory, so the practicality is 11 out of 10. Just remember that regardless of how many remote headsets you're using, you always need to have the master headset on, otherwise the remote headsets won't work. Think of the master headset as also the hub that each headset has to connect to. I would have preferred to have some sort of flip switch button instead for turning them on and off. The way it is right now, you have to hold down the middle power button for about two seconds or so, and I've accidentally left them on a couple of times now, which then resulted in us having empty batteries for the next day. Obviously, you'd want to check everything before a shoot to make sure that your gear is ready, but sometimes you might have multiple shoot days in a row where it gets a bit hectic. It would have been nice if we could just flip a switch and rest assured that they are off. Quick note, you need to turn off all the remote headsets first and only then will you be able to turn off the master headset. So maybe that's also one of the reasons as to why I've accidentally been leaving them on. Anyway, here's a quick demonstration of how we usually put on the single ear headset. You've got the cushion sitting just in front of your ear and then you tighten everything as much as you need to. Once everything is on, the LED lights will blink red for the master headset and blue for the remote headsets while the microphones are muted, whereas the LED lights will be static once you activate the microphones. One thing we noticed was that we would often waste time on set by having to look through each headset until we found the one with the A letter, so there could have maybe been a design detail on the master headset to quickly indicate which is the main one, but modern problems require modern solutions, so we put some tape on it. You can tilt the microphone down and you'll hear mute off. Now you can simply talk as the microphone uses voice detection activation. You can also listen to others who have their microphone tilted down. If you tilt your microphone back up, you'll hear mute on, which mutes your microphone, but you'll still be able to hear everyone else who still has their microphone tilted down. There are five levels of volume, which you can control by pressing the left or right button. For my testing, I noticed sometimes the volume was a bit low, even on the maximum level. So I asked them about it and they said, we went through several refinements and tests on the microphone and volume to ensure that the sound is focused on the communication between the team. So the microphone was purposefully designed designed to have a directional 
and very tight pickup range, which means that you need to keep it close to your mouth so it picks up your voice while canceling out other ambient noises, which is very useful for loud environments. It makes sense. You don't want to constantly be hearing loud music at events, for example. You want to be able to understand what the crew members are saying, which is the whole point of having a communication system. On the other hand, if you're shooting somewhere where you need to be super quiet, like we did in a theater recently, then you're going to have to keep the microphone right up against your lips so your voice can be picked up as you're whispering. The microphone can be right. Oh yeah, the microphone can be rotated up to 270 degrees so you can wear the headset on either side. Pro tip! Always wear your headset with a cushion facing the side from which you need to hear people close to you. But if that's not a concern, then you can even switch it up from time to time so you give each ear some fresh air. Now let's listen to the microphone quality, which I recorded by putting a microphone into one of the headsets. All right, so the sound you're hearing right now is coming straight from this microphone. So now I'll continue speaking for a bit just so you can get an idea of what this sounds like, even though it's not exactly one-to-one -to, -one to what we hear, but it's pretty close. So seeing as we're here already, I'm thinking why not tell you to consider subscribing to this channel, maybe leaving a like, even a comment, maybe just tell us where you're from, I guess. Oh, and to anybody still watching up until this point, I want to thank you for your patience and for your support across all the other videos on this channel. So yeah, again, thank you very much and let's now move on. To me, it sounds decent and usable. The quality is much better than with walkie talkies and even phone calls. For the most part, you can understand what people are saying unless there's multiple people speaking at the same time, which can get a bit muffled, but the fact that everyone can speak at once without having to press any buttons is just fantastic. The batteries can be fully charged in two to three hours. They last for about 10 hours for the master headset and about 13 hours for the remote headsets. So we have never really needed spare batteries yet during a full shoot day, but it's always good to be safe because sometimes you might forget to charge some of them as I said, or some of them could suddenly die out completely. You can either purchase extra batteries from Kame TV or purchase them locally as the MB6L model of the batteries is pretty common in most countries. As always, when you first get some fresh gear, you try to be very gentle with it, but then eventually you forget all about that and start going hard on set, as we have. And they can definitely take a beating as they are rather very sturdy, so they can be tossed around without fear of breaking, even though they're mostly made out of plastic and then metal in some more important parts, such as the ear cup tighteners and the microphone, so you can make adjustments without breaking them. On one of the headsets, I accidentally spun the microphone, which then loosened up a bit, and I was having trouble making it hold the pose properly, but I was able to tighten it back up without causing any damage. Something to keep in mind in case you pick up these headsets for your work, just try not to spin the microphone. They have felt quite comfortable to keep on for long periods of time, because the ear pad is actually quite soft, but I did find that the tightening isn't as strong, so I would often have to tighten it back up so the headset wouldn't slip, but I'm also aware that they might have intentionally made the tightener is not as strong, so the stiffness wouldn't hurt your head. The headsets feature waterproof IP63, which I had to Google, and the case is also well sealed, so light rain or drizzle is fine, but it is recommended not to use them in heavy rain. I love the aesthetic design, mostly because of my personal taste. It's clean and minimalistic, not too many distracting design elements. You've just got the logo on the ear cup. They have slick dark colors with an accent color knitting on the top part, which has Velcro underneath, so you can open it up and tweak the cable if you want to. The microphone arm has this metal spiral pattern, whereas the microphone itself has a removable foam cover so you can replace it. And on top of all that, they make you look like a secret agent. For the range test, we went out to a football stadium, which we often shoot in actually, so it was a pretty convenient testing ground. I want to thank my friend Isa who came along to help me out with the testing and also helped me get these sweet drone shots. The stadium is about 110 meters in length and usually we place cameras in these spots while the production gets set up in this building. Alright, so here I am at the football stadium doing a test with my friend Isa. So right now, he's at that building over there and I'm pretty much at the center of the field. So far, it's not test test. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, so far, no interruptions at all. All right, so I've pretty much reached the other side of the field. It's not test need to. Hello, hello. Just a little bit over 100 meters from that side to this side. So we're all good. All right, so right now I'm to the side of the building. That's the building. And then we're gonna go over down this road and just to test what the walls are gonna do. Test, test. I'm here again. Isa, test? Yeah, but 
Testing? With me. Okay, so, yeah, as soon as we got on an open space again, Isa can hear us as well. Just keep in mind that whenever you put barriers in between the headsets, you're gonna have the signal drop significantly. All right, guys, so the final test, I guess, which is to just go as far as we can. I'll just continue walking until we lose signal. Guys, look at this. Look at this beautiful view. Ah, <sighs> This is actually Isa's home village. Fun fact. You still hear me, right? You do? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh, welcome back. Hello, hello. It's just a joke. Come on, keep going. Uh, <laughs> I got bamboozled. Oh my god, there's a couple of dogs there. Three dogs. <laughs> well, I got attacked by dogs, but they just woofed. I continued going in the same direction until I arrived at about this area. And by using Google Maps distance measuring tool, I was able to figure out the distance. All right, so I pretty much kept going as much as I could before we lost the signal completely. And I would say that it is indeed accurate. The 450 meters that they claim is pretty much, pretty much right. So. There you go. Oh my god. Right now, I'm just a bit off to the side. Gisa, that's need to. Oh yeah, you can hear how it's dropping out. And the main reason is because, look, we have those trees and that wall right in front blocking the view. So that's what's causing the interference. I would say that because it was clear line of sight and Isa was also elevated in the building, then we pretty much had the ideal scenario for the signal of these headsets. But as you saw, you're mostly gonna have to worry about obstacles rather than distance. Now, here's something you can do to make the whole connection a bit more stable. Instead of leaving the master headset in the production room, we could instead give it to the middle camera operator so he bridges the gap between the production room and the other camera operators. This means you can technically extend the range to about 900 meters in open space by putting the master headset in the center of all the other remote headsets and have a much more stable connection all around. I've been told the headsets use different frequencies compared to Wi-Fi and phone signals so you shouldn't have any trouble there but here you can see all the technical specs for the headsets which you can find in the user manual. For more information regarding using a hub and also the pairing process please visit the KMTV website and also check out the user manual. Links to everything mentioned in this video will be provided in the description. So a quick recap who is this communication system for? Well, regardless of the kind of work you do, if you find yourself in a situation where you need to communicate with others on the fly because you're sometimes far apart and you want to have a dedicated system for that, then this could definitely come in handy. The build quality is solid, the sound quality is good, the practicality as well, so you can be up and running in no time. On top of that, the folks at Came TV have very kindly provided us with a coupon code, so you can get a discount for the Communicate headsets at checkout, and any purchases you make by using the affiliate link in the description will also support the channel, so thank you very much. All right, guys, we've pretty much reached the end. This has been a deep dive into the Communicate headsets from Came TV, so Thanks a lot for watching and being patient all the way through and we will see you next time. Peace out.